when we're asked to square a number, we're being asked to multiply it by itself. So 1 squared, so 1 with a little 2, means 1 squared, and 1 squared is 1 times 1. And 1 times 1 is equal to 1, so 1 squared is 1. 3 squared is 3 times 3, and 3 threes are 9. 5 squared means 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. 7 squared is 7 times 7, 7 sevens are 49. And 9 squared means 9 times 9, and 9 times 9 is 81. So here we've got some more numbers that need to be squared. So you try these, work out the value, so pause the video, and then press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. 6 squared means 6 times 6, so 36. 8 squared is 8 times 8. 64 and 10 squared is 10 times 10 which is 100 when we're asked to cube a number that means multiply a number by itself and then multiply by itself again so one cubed and cubed is written as a little three so one cubed means one times one times one so 1 times 1 times 1. 1 times 1 is 1, and then 1 times 1 is 1 again. So 1 cubed is 1. 3 cubed means 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, and then 9 times 3 is 27. So 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. I'll write that down. 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And then 25 times 5 is 125. Okay, so there's two more questions here. If you pause the video, give them a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, so first up is 2 cubed, and that's 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 cubed, 4 times 4 is 16, and then 16 times 4 is 64. The opposite of squaring a number is called square rooting. So square rooting is the opposite of squaring. So when we square root a number, we're looking for the number that multiplies itself to make that number. So the square root, this is a square root symbol, the square root of one means what number times itself makes one. And one times one makes one, so the square root of one is 1. For the second one, we've got the square root of 100. What number times itself makes 100? And that is 10. Square root of 9, what number times itself makes 9? 3. What number times itself makes 16? So the square root of 16 is 4. And what number times itself makes 64? So square root 64 is 8. So again, there's some square root questions here. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, what number times itself makes 25? That's 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 
So square root 25 is 5. Square root 81. 9 times 9 makes 81. So the square root of 81 is 9. 6 times 6 makes 36. So square root 36 is 6. 2 times 2 makes 4. So square root of 4 is 2. And 7 times 7 is 49. So the square root of 49 is 7. So cube roots, the opposite of cubing a number, is cube rooting a number. So when we're looking for a cube root, we're saying what number times itself and then times itself again makes that number. So what number times itself and times itself again makes 1? Well, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So the cube root of 1 is 1. What number times itself and times itself again makes 125? 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So the cube root of 125 is 5. And 4 times 4 times 4 makes 64. So 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. So the cube root of 64 is 4. Okay, two more questions. Pause the video, give them a go, then press play when you're ready to go through. So we're looking for a cube root, which means what number times itself and times itself again makes this number. So the cube root of 27, what number times itself and then times itself again makes 27? It's 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 makes 27. And the cube root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 makes 8. Okay, now we're going to look at using a calculator to do powers and roots, to do our squares, cubes, and our roots. So, if we grab a calculator, the first question says 15 squared. And on the calculator, you should be able to find a squared button, which looks something like this, with an x squared on the button. So if you can find that button, we've got 15 squared. So we're going to type in the calculator 15, then press the squared button. 15 squared comes in the top, press equals, and we get our answer as 225. So 15 squared is 225. The second question is the cube root of 343. So the cube root button is just above the square root button. So you can see a three, and then a, and then a square root. So to get to that, we're going to press the shift button. So shift, and then the square root, which brings up a cube root. And we're going to type 343 three into there, press equals, and that's seven. So the cube root of 343 is 7. Next question, square root of 289. So we press the square root button this time. And inside the root, we write 289. And that gives us 17. This question is something we've got to be very careful with negative 3 squared. So if you grab a calculator and just write negative 3 squared, it gives you the wrong answer. It says it's negative 9. So negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. And a negative times a negative makes a positive. So we should get an answer of positive 9. So when we're typing in negative 3 squared or minus 3 squared into our calculator, 
it thinks we're doing a takeaway 3 squared. So we need to write the negative number inside brackets. So negative 3 squared. And that gives us the correct answer of positive 9. So a negative times a negative is always a positive. And when you're typing, when you're squaring a negative number in the calculator, use brackets. Use brackets around the negative number and it will give you the correct answer. So negative 3 squared is a positive 9. And finally, we've got 2.5 cubed. So 2.5. Where's the cubes button? So this calculator's got one, x cubed. You can just tap that and it brings up the cubed. If you can't find the cubed button, there's an x with a square next to it. And you can type in any power you like. So 2.5 cubed. It's given me a fraction here, which is fine. It's 125 over 8. But if you want a decimal, there's a button to press here, S to D button. You can click that and you'll get a decimal answer. So that's 15.625. Okay, so there's some questions here for you to have a go at. Pause the video, use your calculator to work out the value of each of these. So the first one, 1.6 squared. Gives us 2.56 or 64 over 25. So I write 2.56. Second question, the cube root of 729. So cube root, so shift and the square root button to bring up cube root, 729, and that's 9. Which means 9 times 9 times 9 makes 729. The square root of 256, so square root 256, that's 16. Negative 11 squared, so remember, we've got a negative number, we need to write it in brackets, or the calculator will give us the wrong answer. So negative 11 squared is 121. And 9 cubed, finally, you can, well we already know the answer, we know what 9 times 9 times 9 should be. But we'll type it in the calculator, and it is 729. So the cube root of 729 is 9, which means that 9 cubed must be 729. Because cube, the, square, the cube root and cubing are the opposites of each other. 